One of the fantastic things about IBW 213 is we're able to do things that are, you know, kind of outside of the normal realm of thinking. Tapping into the uh, cable and datacom professionals is a natural idea for the IBW. Why wouldn't we go after some of those to make sure that they're organized? I come from the electrical industry and this was about making sure that uh, the workers in those industries got the same things that I got as an electrician, that standardization of pay, standardization of qualification. I see their names on trucks, I see their names on chip barges, I see their names on buildings, and then I saw their names on telecommunications trucks. The union side of me takes great pride in the fact that we're going to take on one of these titans, and if you're going to work here, we need you to be in the IBW. They were getting their, their wages cut, they were getting their hours cut, they were getting um, a whole lot more um, demand on them personally for less money. To the point where it's so toxic um, of a work environment that the churn rate was comparable to a fast food restaurant. And people started realizing that power by numbers is uh, really the only way to, to be heard. Just three months uh, the drive took uh, with almost 300 employees um, and uh, it was almost to the point where they're lining up to sign. We got a majority, majority of the, the people signed and we got a automatic certification. This is the first few steps in a larger goal to make sure that industry uh, it has transferable skill sets, training, uh, and, and uh, decent wages and pensions. We just want to be the organization that when you come into our jurisdiction, you know you got to talk to us. If someone's needing the help and we're there and we can provide them that service, why not? It's just going to make us stronger.